Hi coyotes, today I'm going to tell you a story about migration. What's migration? Well, let's find So single families sustain themselves on small animals. But to bring down a cave bear or a mammoth, more people were needed. So people grouped together as a tribe. Well, how do we know that, they exist, that tribes existed? Well, in burial grounds, we have found more bodies than might have been in an extended family. So here we have this large group gathering to kill a large animal. So this group of people who has grouped together, they continue to stay together and they follow the movement of animals. This larger group does not stay in one place out of necessity because they need to always follow their food. Well, there are other times where great glaciers have spread from the North Pole. And at least four times in human history, we've seen periods of the Ice Age. So what would happen to the people who lived near the glacier as it inched forward? They would have to move away. But when the glaciers melted, the people moved back. Well, at the conclusion of the glaciation, wind, rain, and vegetation shifted. Some lands that previously had water and, f and were very fertile soon became a desert. These people had to move away. We do know that people lived at one time in what is now the desert because we have found the remains of the people in the desert. We also know that ships soon began to be a thing of the present. So with sailing vessels came the possibility of migration across the seas by ship. So people no longer had to stay in one place. They could move using these great vessels. So here's another example of how people moved from place to place. So as the fertility of the land was depleted, people moved to new places and cleared the new land. You can see that people are moving here. These little bodies are moving. So they repeated this cycle because they did not know how to replenish the soil. So what people did was they had a settlement. They used up all the resources and nutrients that the soil could offer them. They could no longer grow anything. They needed to find a new place. So they traveled, traveled, traveled until they found a new settlement where the soil was rich in nutrients and they were still close to water. So they were able to build houses, little storage rooms for food and cro other crops. And here they're growing everything. So we see that people had to keep moving in order to keep themselves alive.